So now we're going to look at how in the lab we can tell an alkane apart from an alkene. Uh, just let's recap on the chemistry first of all. If we look at the displayed formulas of each, it's quite straightforward. The alkane over here, single bonds only, and the alkene with a double bond, and so two fewer hydrogens. So that's easy if we can see the displayed formula. Of course, in the lab, it's not so straightforward. Here we have the two here. We've got alkane on this side and the alkene on the right. They look exactly the same. So here's how we test for the two. Firstly, we add some bromine water, which is orange. With the alkane, there's no reaction. So the solution stays orange. And with an alkene, there is a reaction, and we see a color change from orange to colorless. And this happens because of this double bond, which is reactive. It's not as stable. That double bond there is reactive. So let's look a bit more at the chemistry of that, first of all. I've got some models down here, just before we do the demonstration. So here's an alkane. I've got ethane. You can see the two carbons joined with a single bond, all surrounded by hydrogen atoms. And here I've got ethene, two carbons, but this time a double bond. So one of these is weaker. So this is a more reactive, less stable bond. Um, along comes our, could be bromine or chlorine, some kind of halogen in a diatomic molecule. And there's nowhere for it to react with the alkane. This alkane, we call it saturated. So this chlorine or bromine can't react unless we give it some additional energy somehow. On the other hand, the alkene has a double bond, much more reactive. What can happen is this double bond can easily break. The chlorine can break and we can just add on the atoms in what's called an addition reaction. And there we go, we've got a whole new molecule. Okay, let's see that in action. Hopefully it's gonna work. So there you go, my alkene over here, colorless liquid. Sorry, my alkane over there and my alkene over here. I'm gonna add bromine water to each. I'll do it gently. There we go, bromine going to one, and then bromine into the other. Now it should look the same at the moment until I give it a shake. Notice here, for your interest, uh, the bromine water is more dense, it sinks to the bottom, and the alkane and alkene both less dense, they flow to the top. So here we go, give it a bit of a shake. Three, two, one. And there we go. With the alkane, no reaction, because that carbon-carbon single bond is very strong. And with the alkene, we have a reaction. The color goes orange to colorless because the double bond is reactive. Wonderful. Let's look at the equation for that then. This is how we'd write it. And you're going to do an exercise in two minutes uh, similar to this. So the name of the compound formed is quite complicated to start with. So let's just do the display formulas to see what's going on. So here we've got ethene. And then we're reacting that with bromine, which is two bromine atoms in a molecule. So they're gonna to react together. Well, let's look what happens. Let's just redraw the ethene over here to start with. And I'll talk you through what happens. The first thing that happens is the double bond breaks. And of course, every carbon should have four bonds. So there are bonds available here. And the bromine simply adds one atom on one side and one on another side, just as I did here. In terms of naming then, as always, we name these organic compounds backwards. There are only single bonds. So it finishes with a single bond. There are two carbons, so it's eth. It's got bromine on it, so it's a bromo. 
How many bromines? There are two. It's dibromo. And where are the bromines? The first bromine is on the first carbon, the second bromine on the second carbon. So that, of course, is 1, 2, dibromoethane. In terms of what people, people forget, they tend to forget to put the di, so don't be that person. And because it's only got single bonds, it's ane at the end. People often forget that as well. Okay, um, on now, please, everyone, uh, on the booklet, page 16, there are four similar examples. Um, last two are a bit trickier. On you go, page 16, and I'll leave this here for you to look at as you work on. Good luck.